Hey folks, here's a quick video that's going to show you if you're getting this um, JDK not found error when you're trying to install NetBeans, how we can fix it. Uh, so really, we just need to install it uh, from the command line or PowerShell, and we need to tell it where the OpenJDK that we've unzipped is. So on my computer, I went and I unzipped my OpenJDK to my C drive, the folder in here called OpenDev, and inside of OpenDev is my JDK. 16.1. So I'm going to need this path here in a minute. So I'm going to come over to start. I'm going to type PowerShell. And it should get me the Windows PowerShell option here. You don't need the ISE one, just regular Windows PowerShell. That's fine. We're going to start that up. And we're going to go find our downloads folder. Right, so we probably left the Apache NetBeans installer in downloads. So we need to go find that directory. So there's a couple of commands we're going to need. Um, so wherever you start off... Um, your path we need to change directory so i'm going to do just cd backslash to take me to my c drive so that's where we're going to start so at the c drive we're going to cd for users and you just type us and hit tab it's going to auto complete that for you i'm going to do my username eric c here and then i'm going to find my downloads folder again tab to auto complete so inside my downloads folder here should be that apache netbeans so if i type ap and hit tab it's going to say oh, okay here's the apache netbeans 12.3 installer exe here that's great so now we're in good shape so i've got that ready to run and then i'm going to do space dash dash java home so that's what this error is telling you it says hey you need to tell it where the java home is where is the jdk so in java home and i'm going to say space and then it's c colon backslash open tab to complete open dev jdk 1601 so this command is what we're going to run wherever you unzipped your JDK to. Perfectly fine. We're going to tell the installer, hey, here's where Java Home is. We're going to hit enter to run. And it should think about it for a second. And then it should pop up the installer for us and not give us that error. All right, cool. I'm getting my little UAC prompt. Yes, I do want to run that. And it's going to get past that step in the installer here. You should be in good shape. If you have any trouble, let me know.